So if you're Odyssey Sledger, just trying to show you a little um, simple um, FL Studio sampling tutorial, or basically just the way I do it. I, I, I don't know how other people really do it. Like I've seen other ways, but this is the way I do it. Like, don't mind the, the drums that I have like preloaded. Like you don't need any any of that. I would just put those there for reference. At first, I usually just start off with a sampler. Like, I put my sample on my desktop just to show you guys. But, um, I, look, I, I usually chop all my stuff in FL and Edison. Um, so, we have a sample here. You can kind of hear like the part that I want. I don't really want the end or the beginning. Oh shit. But, um... I want it right after those little funny drums start. I kind of like, after you start doing this, you kind of see where samples hit at before they're actually there. So it's something you'll kind of learn. That's kind of why I wanted to do that. And all I did was cut. Like, I'm, I don't even know the buttons, man. So, but you should know, it just just by watching me, what I did. Go to this little drag and copy sample selection. And you put that there. That that basically, it doesn't edit your sample where you haven't saved that. It just edit, edit it in the program, basically. And for some reason, I like to start my projects in 64 bar. It's just something I was doing like before I even knew how to use FL. So like, you don't have to do that. And I do my stuff in double time. Like I see a lot of people do their stuff in um, single time and whatever, whatever flows you book, basically. You'll figure it out. But uh, let's start it at just like a random time so you can see me chop it. Like I don't, I can like I usually, just use my airs or the metronome or whatnot. I know a lot of people try to use the metronome, but um, I'll try to do it without. So I'm gonna normalize it just so nothing's compressed or anything. Like we'll add all the other compression or whatever we need to later on. Always turn this loop points off because sometimes it just plays when it's not supposed to play. And I turn this cut itself on. sound like it was kind of on beat so I'll just change the tempo again. Let's see it sounds like it's way too slow. And I just kind of uh my bad this little MVL thing is a time stretch and I just mess with that basically until I get it. It usually doesn't take that long. I mean, like some samples, you have to go back and re-stretch it in, in, in other parts of the sample, but that's another tutorial. Or you should be, base, basically, you should be able to do that based on you seeing me stretch the sample, which I kind of think hits where it's supposed to. It's not like it was a little slow, maybe. You can always use the metronome, though. See, it sounds like it's pretty much on. Um, I usually get my sample to where it sounds just about perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. Like something's always going to be a little off, but like musically, if it sounds good, it sounds good. Seems like I might have rushed the sampling chopping process, but that's basically what I do. And it's like done. I find where I, I want to chop the sample. I load it up and then I just load like reference drums before I add actual music or things to it. But um, that's pretty much it.
Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have uh, Juicy J antlers that I had sitting around. Bands. And I like this part, this cash, cash. part. So I've been using this as like a, an ad lib, but I've been turning it down like real low, or like a, like a box or whatnot, instead of using like the, the typical ones, the years and all that that you find. I was just trying to do some old other shit. But you basically see, I like I, you select it to the left and you cut it. Huh. That's it. I mean, it's it's obvious. It's like samples. They they. They they just won't rad the whole track. You know you'll have to go back and make chops and different things if you have like a longer sample. But if you have some of the shorter samples, they they usually tend to hit where they're supposed to hit at. Um, I guess that's it. I'll um, someone guess that that sample. I don't. You can't shazam that or anything. Uh, I'll give you this FOP with these kicks and drums and some of my my own personal sounds but thanks for tuning in uh subscribe to my youtube one